The goal of the New Jersey Center for Biomaterials is to develop medical devices from initial polymer synthesis through to implementation. And our passion and mission is to alleviate human suffering through advances in uh, biomaterials and tissue engineering. This is our prototyping lab. Here we have our Envision Tech printer. We are developing new materials. We are looking at the use of 3D printing to shape scaffolds for tissue regeneration and regenerative medicine. The ultimate goal of 3D bioprinting is to be able to print functional organs on demand. So the bioplotter for us is a tool to help us do our research. So this research addresses all medical conditions where we deal with tissue loss. Tissue loss can be associated with aging, trauma or disease. An example for disease would be when you lose a whole section of your bone due to bone cancer. So that piece of bone has to be cut out. So the idea would be to try and help the body regenerate that missing piece of bone, hopefully minus the cancer. And with the precision of the Invigitech Bioplotter, we can actually reproducibly print composite structures. So we're looking at generating healthy cartilage and healthy bone in both young patients and aged adults. Millions of people have problems with their knees and joints. So being able to refurbish the joint and some of the delicate structures within a joint would be another application. The one nice aspect of using the Envision Tech printer is the complete control. We have complete control over the temperatures of the materials, the temperatures of the plates on which they're deposited, and the geometries down to a micron scale precision. And we are creating new architectures, very controlled architectures, that we could not fabricate in any other way without the bioprotector. Using the manufacturer series that we have, there's a built-in camera that takes images every single step so we can look back at the construct an hour, a month, or even a year later and ensure that we have complete control over the morphology of the scaffold. Additive manufacturing has been around and it's established for automotive industry and the aeronautics. And now we need to bring the biomedical group together with these experts and using 3D bioplotters to make this manufacturing a reality.